it's chloe and we're back with another video you guys this is married at first sight season 13 episode 8 and i'm just gonna say where's all these clips of the um previews that we not getting i mean like where's these episodes at okay like where's the juice where's the you know the drama where's all that because like at this point i'm kind of bored <laughs> listen i know we just want love we want love we don't want drama but y'all it's not giving what it's supposed to give at this moment just saying just saying okay now anyway let's get into this episode i am going to go scene by scene but i'm not going to be as detailed as i normally am because y'all it wasn't it didn't give me much it just didn't give me much so i'm going to try to you know spice it up a little bit just for you anyway let's get into it it is 11 days of marriage so far, okay? Uh, we see Rachel is getting up early to go to the gym, okay? She doesn't want to wake up Jose, but she needs to go get her workout on in the morning because she wants to spend her afternoon with her husband. I say, oh, ain't that cute, okay? Johnny is giving Bao kisses because he's about to leave. And Bao wants us to know that he's trying. I said, really? Johnny's trying? Sure he is. Sure he is. <laughs> Jokes on you, Bao. Jokes on you. But anyway, um, Brett and Ryan are getting some dog love. You know, the dogs cuddle up with them. Okay, it is what it is. Um, like I said, they're the only one giving me a little bit of hope at this moment. Mm -hmm. Marilyn thinks Gil is stalking her because he popped up with the fire truck. Okay, he popped up on at the fire truck. And I'm going to say, Marilyn, you missed that kiss moment, sis. When he pulled up and you, you know, walked over to him and you put your little arms inside the car. Okay? You should just give him a little kiss. Like, what you doing? Why are you fighting it? Why are you fighting it? I was like, why is she going to mess that? She missed that point. She missed that moment. It would have been so cute and romantic, okay? He's like, hey, beautiful. Hey, husband. Mwah. You know, just like that. <laughs> but anyway, she didn't do that, so there it goes. Zach is in his apartment looking all lonely, opening up the blinds, get some sunlight in, hopefully. That will help, you know, lift up his mood. Um, Zach's just not feeling it. He's not feeling it. And I'm guessing Michaela probably wasn't still in the house because homegirl wasn't there with him to open up the shades. Hmm. Interesting. So now, y'all, Jose and Rachel are going to pick out flowers, okay? And they hope that these flowers grow like their marriage. And, you know, um, Jose already knows what he wants. He knows what kind of plants he's going to pick out, okay? And Rachel says Jose already planned what kind of um, plants they want to get i said not they want to get not y'all want to get him planning all of that okay if you say so now she says that he's not really controlling she doesn't see it as controlling i said it's giving very much controlling rachel it's either jose's way or no way i just don't understand how you don't see that as controlling but like she said he cooks in the kitchen so if he wants to pick out the parsley and the basil and the lettuce let him do that because he gonna cook i said you know what let me shut up because you're absolutely right girl if he's gonna do the cooking and he wants the plants that he want to cook with then let him do that okay <laughs> let him do that he already had the plan it's in motion let it go ain't no pick your battles y'all and the marriage is picking battles and i guess rachel said not today not today. <laughs> so Zach's talking to his friend because, like, you know, he just can't let this situation between them go, okay? He's saying that his energy changed ever since that blow up that they had, okay? And um, he, doesn't, he doesn't like the way she handled conflict. And I can get it. I definitely can understand, okay? He says that the, he thought that they came to a resolve afterwards and that... Um, Everything was fine. But then she texted him and was like, she canceling the housewoman. She don't want to do it no more. And that was just a cherry on top of him, okay? So when he's explaining to Jerome the whole situation about how she said, don't ever wake me up or whatever the case may be. Um, but he didn't wake her up, but supposedly he did text her. I'm confused. Did you wake her up through a text message? Did you not wake her up through a text message? Like, Zach, I'm still saying that something about this story sounds sus. I'm just saying it sounds sus. You said... She told you not to wake her up ever. But what that guy do was send her a text message. And she said you didn't answer her phone calls or text messages. So, like, there's a disconnect somewhere. Some, some, something's not adding up. And I'm just saying that's all I'm saying. Now, anyway, Jerome tries to get 
Zach to understand that sometimes your reality is not what you expected, okay? Sometimes reality does not match your expectations. And that's the truth, okay? You go into a relationship and you want to, you know, check off all the boxes like Johnny. And sometimes them boxes just don't all get checked out. It does not check off. It does not mean that you're not meant for each other. It just means that you might have unrealistic expectations. Not saying that he has unrealistic expectations of her being able to handle her emotions okay but he said something that really just you know made me feel some type of way a little bit because he was like it did um all his relationships in the past he's been with girls who don't know how to handle conflict and they start having attitudes and they like to make scenes or whatnot and i'm just sitting here like let me think about this if every relationship you're in a woman is always causing a scene what are you doing to cause her to have a scene if this is how women react in all of your relationships Zach what are you doing wrong because don't get me wrong Michaela definitely overreacted y'all she definitely overreacted but like <laughs> if your man uh got up and left didn't answer your phone calls text message if that's what you, if that's what happened okay um, she had every right to be upset. Did she overreact? She definitely did, but she did have every right to be upset. How she handled it was wrong, but she had every right to be upset. And I'm going to say it again. She had every right to be upset. Now, Zach, if every woman you were with are making scenes, okay, and not handling conflict well, what are you doing to cause this conflict that they're not handling well? I'm not saying Oh, you know, Michaela's perfect. But I'm just saying, you have to realize sometimes if the common denominator between you and all these women is you, sometimes you need to take a look at you. Mm-hmm. Just saying. Just saying. We not giving no passes out here, okay? Just because one person is wrong does not make you right. Okay. Gil and Marilla are budgeting. Oh, okay. Y'all know that's like their storyline. Budgeting, spending, money. Okay, finances is Mirla and Gil's thing. Now, um, Gil is kind of surprised that she don't know how much she spent on food a month. I'm like, Gil, everybody's not penny pitching like you, okay? Um, she goes into the store, she buys what she wants to eat, she pays for it, she go about her business. Everybody not sitting there like, I spent $5 on a steak, $2 on a rice, $1 on a broccoli, okay? I did it, I did that, okay? No. Okay, she goes through her list. She says, oh, I spent this much, this much. I spent about 300 some dollars a month. He like, what? So how much do you spend on clothes? And she was like, um, I don't go shopping every month. I just go shopping. And how much do you spend when you go shopping? Um, why are you asking me all these questions, sir? Why? Okay. He was like, oh, just pretty much with your card. Um, um, just pretty much with your card approves. And she was like, my card approves a lot. I said, talk yo ish, sis. Talk yo ish. He got the nerve to ask that girl how much her eyelashes cost. Are you paying for them, Gil? So if you're not paying for these eyelashes, don't worry about how much they cost. Gil be getting on my nerve, okay? This guy want to sit there and have all these conversations about his finances and how he want to save and all this other stuff. But he's not really saving because he's saving money, but it's in Colombia, okay? They show each other their bank accounts, okay, and their savings. And he's like, oh, you got a really good savings, okay? He says that they're obviously in two different tax brackets, but... <clears throat> He's not intimidated by that at all because he knows what he brings to the table. I said, listen, Gil, listen, if you wasn't intimidated by all of that because you know what you bring to the table, you wouldn't be talking about this girl finances every chance that you get, okay? You wouldn't be so worried about how much she spends every chance that she gets, okay? Her car approves a lot, okay? She pays off her credit card and she's not in debt, okay? Like she said, I don't carry no debt. I said, I know that's right, girl. Talk your ish, okay? That's how you do it. That's how you do it, Rachel. That's how you do it. <laughs> now, listen. Um, I'm just trying to figure out. So, so Mela was sitting there like, so you mean to tell me if we want to go buy a house, we can't touch your savings that you have. We have to start all over from scratch. And he's like, yeah. And I was like, you got the nerve to be worried about her money that she's spending and she has a savings. What about um, your savings, sir? Why you don't have a savings in America? 
that's building up, okay? He says his savings is in his 401k. Okay, granted, I have a 401k. Trust me, y'all, it grows, but it ain't growing, growing like, oh my God, that's my whole retirement when, I, um, when I'm done working. No, 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 no. I'm going to need some extra money, okay? That's why I'm over here trying to get this YouTube popping off, okay? So when it says was ready to retire, she got some money here, she got some money there, okay? My husband got some money here, he got some money there. We ain't got time to be playing with just the 401k. Mm -mm, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. Invest in yourself, invest in your future. But you got the nerve to be sitting here worried about mirrorless um, eyelashes. And I'm just sitting here like, if Miller wanted to be just as petty as Gil, she could have been like, why are you saving money in Colombia? What does that have to do? How are you going to, you know, build your future in your life in America if you're saving your money in Colombia? And I'm just curious as to why is he saving the money in Colombia too? What is going on? Why is the money in Colombia and not in America where you need it? How are you going to have a family, a house, you know, all this stuff if your money is not here? Are you planning on moving to Colombia and you just didn't let her know that yet? Like, what's going on? It's not adding up. Something about that whole situation that Gil was giving us is not adding up. Make it make sense, Gil. Make it make sense. But anyway, um, if y'all know how that works, y'all let me know down in the comments because I'm sure somebody will come over here and say, he's sending it to his family. Okay, sending it to your family is not saving. Just letting you know that, okay? So now Ryan and Brad are meeting up with their friends separate, okay? Ryan's at the gym. Brad's having drinks with her girl, okay? And Ryan's talking to his friend, telling him how easy this has been, okay? And how it's not to seem forced, okay? And Brad's telling her friend, like, you know, the best part of the honeymoon was the spa because he had me out here, you know, in the, um, the lake with the dad on um men, menis, manatees is that what it's called a manatees <laughs> the little well looking thing okay he had me out there with the manatees or whatever okay and i wasn't feeling that y'all know i don't like to be on no planes but we had to travel so i know i was stressing him out okay um <laughs> and he's over there expressing to his friend how she don't like the travel she don't like the nature she don't like nothing meanwhile brett's over there like well i did it though I did it. And why did I do it? Because he wanted to do it. I said, I know that's right, girl, okay? Ryan, be quiet. Stop complaining about the girl not and really enjoying the stuff that she didn't want to do that she did just for you, okay? Um, it's not like she was like how Marilyn was when they was, you know, motion sickness over the um the ocean, okay? When they was in a helicopter. It's not like that, okay? She just didn't want to see that big old well next to her. She was fine rolling and patting, okay? Until the big old daggone manatees came on the side of her and then she got frozen. And I don't blame her because it's a whole freaking animal out here in the ocean. I don't need that, okay? I don't know if they think I'm dinner. I felt for her, okay? They're not the same. They're not the same. <laughs> So based on the conversation that they were having with their friends, y'all, like I said, I'm not going into details, details. They're both attracted to each other and hopefully they'll get to the physical part of this sooner or later, okay? That's pretty much what happened between Brett and Ryan. I told y'all it don't really be going nowhere with them. I'll be halfway tuned out, so I'll be trying to tune in so I can bring y'all something. And I think I did. But anyway, now Val was talking to her friend and she's talking about, you know, how she was kind of like taken back a little bit when she met Johnny at the altar because she was thinking about all the, you know, history that they had and how he's a playboy and how he's a bro and how she didn't want any of that but then she got excited because she under she knows him and then she knows that he has some good characteristics okay she knows what he stands for she knows that you know he's a little you know smart or whatever okay so she was excited about that but as they start talking, she talks about how she thinks that he is very dismissive. And it's kind of like he doesn't take anything serious. And he's actually kind of scared of commitment. So Val friend basically just tells her, like, you need to just, you know, give him some time. He's been single for a long time. He'll come around. Just give him some time, okay? Um, but Val just really sitting there and she's just like, I get what you're saying. But it's like his actions doesn't match what he's saying. He's telling me he like me. He's telling me he want this. But yet it's still, he... Um, um, leaves the apartment and then he comes back and then he tells me that I'm childlike okay and my advances towards him is kitty like so I'm just trying to figure out where's the disconnect and I was thinking the same thing like Johnny what happened you was just on the beach having this whole romantic picnic talking about some I, 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 I like you okay so now I'm ready to go home I need to reset and take this in 
Was the bath really that bad? <laughs> Did it really just change your whole mindset? Was that the red flag that made you say, I'm done with this and I'm over it? Because if that's it, you need to tell that girl that her not taking a shower every night is the red flag and you're not going to be able to deal with it, okay? That's all you got to tell her. Tell her that and I bet you that'll start taking showers every single night. And if she don't, then she don't want this marriage, okay? Then you can say, you're not committed to this marriage because I told you what I needed. Okay, told you what I needed and what I needed was not going to harm you. It was not going to hurt you or anything. I just wanted you to wash your behind. <laughs> and that's the argument. I could jump behind Johnny. I could jump behind that if that's what it is. But don't come up here with these BS stories and these BS, you know, you know, childlike tendencies and <laughs> call it what it is. Call it what it is. Call it what it is. So all the men meet up and then all the women meet up, okay? They're in their groups, okay? So everyone's like all excited to see each other. The men are toasting to being open and honest. I said, this is a real open and honest group of men, okay? And I am going to say that the men had a better conversation than the women, just saying, okay? Um, they start talking about getting ready for their housewarming and Michaela just sitting there looking real quiet, okay? Because sis, remember, she had canceled the housewarming and she wasn't doing this. So she wasn't going to say she wasn't doing this, but she was just going to sit up the, she was just going to sit there and look a little sour about it. Okay, um, the men start talking about their marriages and what they expected. Okay, Jose wants to be like, it's better than what I expected. It's better than what I expected. Like, um, we just can't keep our hands off each other. Then we got to get the, pat the playback to them not being able to keep their hands off each other and how they just want to keep kissing all the time. Okay, so of course, Gil wants to bring up how he ain't getting no kisses. I'm like, oh my God, Gil, like just tell everybody that the girl don't want to kiss you because he's not going to let this down until she kiss him. And then I bet when she kiss him, he's going to be at the top of my life. She kissed me, she kissed me, she kissed me. He's really acting thirsty, okay? It's the thirst for me. But anyway, um, he wants to explain that he's not bothered, but you're always talking about how you're not getting no kisses. He's very bothered to me, just saying, very bothered. Um, Johnny's looking like he's about to have a nervous breakdown over there on the side while they having this conversation, okay? His face is turning red, his veins in his neck is popping out, and I'm just saying here like, Johnny, keep it together. Johnny, keep it together. Because Johnny's starting to realize that his marriage his name is not nowhere near what some of these other marriages is looking like, okay? He's more of a, a Gil and Miller right now. But what I am going to say is that for Gil to be, you know going through his own little thing he was giving really good advice okay he was telling them like stick it out you know um you can grow that attraction you can grow that you know um affection he was giving good advice i was here for it okay now um <clears throat> They talking about who has sex already. So, of course, over there on the girls, we know who having sex, okay? Rachel's having sex, of course. But Kayla is not going to tell nobody she having sex because a woman never kisses and tells, okay? But meanwhile, Zach is over there like, we did it. We did it. We did it. Hooray! <laughs> so then Johnny starts talking about how he feels more friendly in his relationship, okay? He says that she's his type physically but she's not his type personality wise okay and Gil wants it to be known that if he would have met Miller through a friend or heard about her he definitely wouldn't be matched with her and he definitely wouldn't be going out with her I said Gil it's not about you it's about Johnny shut up he always talking he just be doing the most talking Val's telling the ladies that she feel as though Johnny has commitment issues um and if it doesn't and if she doesn't check off all his boxes then he automatically thinks that she's not the one for him and she's like um like come on sir you're unmarried at first sight obviously i'm not gonna check off all your boxes because you didn't pick me the experts picked me for you so i'm supposed to be what you need okay so then zach is over here you know like what if this just doesn't work out i said lord zach gave up already <laughs> Um, Gil over there being a marriage cheerleader, like I told y'all, y'all. He was giving all the advice out to everybody on how they need to, you know, stick this out and try to make it work, okay? Now, Johnny done had his nervous breakdown, y'all, because he just don't know. Like, he just don't know. He gets up and he wants to walk away with his shades to the back. I said, as serious as this is supposed to be, why am I laughing? I don't know, okay? Jose goes over to comfort him, okay? They start off with a hand pound. The next thing you know, it's a full-blown breakdown, consoling each other, okay? Crying on the shoulder i was like oh that's nice of jose to go comfort um johnny okay and johnny felt very comfortable crying on jose's shoulder i'm just saying they got a romance going on and it's been from the honeymoon where they was picking out rachel's um when they was picking out bouse clothes to the bathroom okay bromance for real okay johnny's in his confessional talking about how he just thought he was ready for marriage but he doesn't think he is though anymore he just thought he was but he just doesn't think he is and now um that was screwed because like <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just not ready. And I'm just sitting here thinking to myself, like, Johnny is really having a nervous breakdown because he does not want to be with Bao. He knows he doesn't want to be with Bao. He doesn't see how he's going to be able to fake it for the next couple of weeks, okay? And he's feeling like he screwed her and himself over at this point. That's all that was about, okay? He didn't really care about, you know, how he thought he was ready, but he not really ready. Johnny may be ready. He just don't want to be ready with Bao. He already said she may not be the one. And I'm not going to hold you, Johnny. If she's not the one, say that then. One thing I hate the most about these couples on Married at First Sight is how they always trying and trying and trying when deep down inside they really don't give a F. So now back at the apartment, y'all, uh, um, Gil comes home and Marilyn just really does not like that dog. She's like, he tried to come to the room, but I stopped him. He's just slobbering everywhere. He's just slobbering. He like, did he come in the room? No, I told him to stop and see he didn't come in the room. I said, that girl did not like that dog, okay? Now you, y'all, I don't care what y'all say, but Mila and Gil get together, they be spilling the tea, okay? They go into details. They be having full-blown conversation about everybody else, and I love it, okay? Because it's the gossip for me, okay? It's the, you're my best friend for me <laughs> okay um Gil is literally spilling all the tea I mean word from word from word and Mila got the popcorn out like what so Val said that oh wow that's crazy mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I was like I'm here for it spill the tea it just gets on my nerve because it's always Gil right in his mouth Mila did not come back and run her whole, you know, the whole conversation down. She was like, it was just a lot, okay? But Gil won't give you word from word from word from word like we do in these reviews, honey. And I was here for it because y'all know I love a good breakdown. <laughs> so they get on the FaceTime with his mother. And this is the first time she actually gets to see her because on during the wedding, they just had a voice. They just had a recording of his mother, you know, wishing them well and things like that and being proud of them. And I think it was so cute when they were talking, you know, she was um, saying how beautiful Mila was was and you know Mila was saying how handsome Gil is okay but Gil once again gotta take these little shots at um Mila talking about she she bougie she bougie I'm like why Gil why ruin the moment okay um but you know Mila is so unbothered because that's how they go back and forth okay they they do that with each other um but overall they you know were having a good conversation they were speaking Spanish it was cute and Gil was really enjoying the fact that Mila said that he was handsome okay he just ate that up okay like a cookie and he was gonna hold on to it for the rest of the day so okay? when he, they get off the phone with the mother Mila wants to know what you mean by being extra she was like what do you mean by being extra he like do I need to you do I need to look it up in the urban dictionary for you it means too much of everything to be exact okay I was just sitting here like oh god she may be extra but she's really that like, y'all Mila has not really been that extra since they got back home that's all I'm going to say. She was a little extra at that hotel because she didn't like it. She was a little extra when she first met the dog. But since then, she's just been coasting it. Gil's been the one poking at her. He's been poking at her with her finances, poking at her about how much she spent, calling her my little pony princess and all that other stuff. And the girl really ain't did nothing since they got back, okay? She's really been trying to tolerate him, being his best friend, keep keying and laughing with him, okay? The only thing she hasn't done was give him a kiss. That's it. But she he ain't really been bothering him. He's been the one that picking with her. I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm starting to see what it really is. Gil, if you got the issue, then you got the issue. Johnny gets back home, y'all. He can't even brush his teeth right. He was in the shower like. <laughs> it was hilarious. I was like, poor Johnny can't even get his teeth brushed. <laughs> He gets in the bed, he's talking about, he's trying to tell her, you know, like, I just don't understand what's wrong with me and why I'm focusing on all the negatives and because I really want this to work. Like, what's wrong with me? I said, hey, I said, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. He did the, it's not true, it's me. He, that's what he was doing. He definitely was doing this, not true, it's me, okay? As they sitting down having this conversation, I'm just like, poor Val can't cut a break, okay? Every time she be thinking things is going good, okay, or whatever the case may be, he just comes back and throw another bomb at her, okay? At first it was... <clears throat> 
um, she was, uh, you know, uh, complaining about the snoring, okay? And then it was she was too uh, childlike, okay? And then it's she don't take a bath, okay? And now he's doing the it's you, not me part situation with her. Poor bad just can't get a break. I'm just sitting here like, stop taking this girl on this roller coaster journey. Just stop because you're not fooling anyone, okay? You're just not doing it anymore. So Bow was sitting there like, okay, good. I'm not going crazy. I know I was feeling something, okay? And I'm glad that he just confirmed it. It sucks that he confirmed it, but I, I knew something was up, okay? But in the midst of their pillow talk, he's just like, we need to just sleep on it. No, we don't need to just sleep on nothing, ba Johnny. No, we don't. I need to know, like, exactly what you're feeling. We need to have this conversation. We need to have, resolve it. What we're not about to do is just go to sleep and wake up the next day like nothing happened, Okay? You don't sit here and tell me you focusing on the negatives, but you won't sleep on it and expect me to just be, ah, good night, sleep, see you in the morning. No. Okay, but she wants to hold his hand and, you know, go to sleep with him. She is very patient. She's a very patient woman, honey, because I, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. We would have been having that conversation all night long until we got somewhere. Because you was going to tell me how you was really, really feeling. You had all day to sleep on it, okay? You was out there breaking down, having a whole, you know, uh, fit in the daggone confessional about how you're not ready for marriage and all this other stuff. And all you want to sit up there and tell her that you focusing on the negativity and you just trying to figure out what's wrong with you. Johnny just made me so mad. I had to do it. I had to. <laughs> So, it's time for Jose and Rachel had their house for me, y'all. And, y'all, let me just tell you, Jose said he was happy to boast about his marriage, okay? And, you know, when they sit down, they talking about, you know, how everything is going and have they had any problems so far, this, that, and the other, okay? And Jose just could not wait to bring up their finances situation. I'm like, Jose, your finances situation is not for everybody, okay? He wants to pull out his board on how he's planned for life, okay? He budgeted this, budgeted this, budgeted this, budgeted this, and Rachel just said, here like this is a whole fool he's a straight up clown i was sitting here like why 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 jose why <laughs> like eh, eh. like we don't need to we got to teach you home training you don't pull out your finance board in front of a whole bunch of strangers and be trying to break down how much money you got and how much you said it seemed low-key like a brag to me honey that's what it seemed like because he got the credit scores and everything up there like jose extra extra what 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 um gil say too much <laughs> just too much of everything when they all separate you know i'm not gonna go into all the details but mama mama step mama said something very interesting she said to you know ratio you contribute to this relationship too and you have to keep some of that control don't let him just come in and take all the control and i said i agree with that i totally agree with that but i feel like rachel is starting to become whoever jose wants her to be like she said she has done in the past okay it's like she tries to stay in her ground just a little bit but she just eventually just gives in to whatever jose wants now listen sis i'm not saying don't let the man take care of you what i'm saying is is you got to find a way to let him take care of you and still keep your bank account on the side okay so that means jose i'm going to put this much into our um house account you can put all your money in the house account if you want like you want to i'm gonna put this much i'm gonna put like 80 percent i'm gonna keep 20 percent for me that's cool okay cool <laughs> okay um and i just was like i'm glad that it was his stepmom and not her family giving her that advice because the stepmom know how jose is okay back over there at johnny and val's house johnny's looking forward to you know hanging out with other married couples and i was just like sir just last night you just wasn't even happy to be married like make up your mind like he's annoying okay um he says it's really he's really struggling um with this relationship because there was no initial spark okay and usually there's an initial spark and then everything else follows. But he's just trying to, you know, build everything else and hopefully the spark will come. And I get it, okay? It's hard because usually it's a whole lust phase you go through and then a love phase. But he's not even in the love or lust phase. And he really don't know what to do with it, okay? Val says that um, she feels like they definitely need to do more talking after this. So she's just ready for this to be over. And I was like, exactly. This is why y'all should have never went to sleep. Because now y'all going to bring all that tension into this house. But they did well and you know concealing it and holding it together now when they sit in there and they you know bow friend give johnny and her a gift and it's a sex book y'all okay and it says um she comes first okay um <clears throat> pun <clears throat> Pun intended, okay? Comes first. Now, uh, on the front of it is a papaya. He was like, what is that? They was like, a papaya. He was like, I don't even eat papaya. I said, Johnny, 
taste the papaya. You might like it. <laughs> but only taste the papaya once Val get out the shower. <laughs> okay, don't do not go before because then you might not like it. Okay, wait till you get out the shower. That's, and, and I'm sitting here like, Val's so happy. Like, yes, and I hope he use it. I hope he use it. Yes, girl. You did that, sis. And I'm just sitting here like, okay, so just wash up so that he can, you know, explore some of this, you know, um, sex book y'all got going on. How you want all this intimacy and the man just keep asking you to take a shower before bed so he can get close and intimate, okay? But you don't want to do what you need to do for that to happen. It don't add up to me, y'all. They just don't be making no sense, okay? Make it make sense. When Val talking to her friend, she's just like, I would think that we would be, you know, I think it's because we know each other for um, beforehand that we're really diving deep into these conversations. And, you know, it's a lot. And I feel like he's like 80% in. And I was like, 80%? Johnny, I saw talking about some. I think I'm like 65% in. And I said, y'all, y'all really don't see eye to eye where y'all at in this relationship, okay? Johnny don't even think he's 65% in it. Johnny is really like 50-50 at it at this point. 50, I could say 50, I could leave. But you know what? You know, I'm gonna try and try it and stay 65 to make it sound a little bit better because Johnny don't want to be there, y'all. He hated it there, he just definitely does. Um, <laughs> but um, Val friend basically tells him, like, listen, Val has a lot of love to give, okay? But you, in order for you to receive all of that, you need to be 100% in. And I thought that was really sweet, okay? And Johnny just needs to get it together if he really wants this to work with Val. He really needs to get it together. Uh, I just don't see them working. It's just not going to work for them. He already, like, destroyed the little bit of trust she had in their relationship. Um, she can't fully be herself around him. And he really just doesn't like who she is as a person. It feels like she annoys him with everything she does. And they're never going to be happy if that's how he really genuinely feels every time he's around Bow. Just saying. Michaela decided she's gonna have this daggone housewoman party because Maddie at first I told her, no, you gotta have the housewoman party. So ain't no canceling it. We need to get this footage, okay? So she goes and invite her friends over and her friends come over and she's just happy her friends is there, okay? Zach show up with his friends and, you know, they having a whole, you know, conversation about everything. And I'm gonna just tell y'all, y'all from this whole scene, Zach is not here for Michaela whatsoever okay he is over it okay when he's talking to the friends about her attitude and how she handles conflict he's not trying to hear anything the friends are trying to say the friends are trying to tell him like she's you know once she gets used to you and she starts trusting you it won't be like this is that like well no okay he really wasn't feeling that when he brought up the when they brought up the kids he was like uh oh you think we're bringing kids into this and we can't be on the same page and she don't know how to communicate and she wants to make a scene and she want to blow up oh no zach wasn't trying to hear any of the information that they was giving him okay <laughs> so it don't matter what they say because zach was always going to throw out a butt but 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 okay i'm just saying um michaela is out there trying to you know explain to his friends that they obviously handle conflict different and she got a lot of learning to do and she gonna do better and things like that the friend says something that i need y'all ladies to listen to okay i need y'all to listen to because i was once this girl ready to snap at any drop of a dime okay he said it's all in how you communicate it's all in it's not always about what you say it's how you say it say it in a respectful way the best way to get through to anybody, not just a man, not just a woman, is to express how you feel in a respectful way so that they can hear you. Because when you're yelling and you're screaming, you're not going to be heard. Just saying. Over at Brett and Ryan House, y'all, they having a good time, okay? What I got from that dinner was that, you know, Brett is trying to become friends with Ryan so they can have an everlasting friendship slash relationship, okay? And Ryan is trying to get out of the friend zone, okay? He's tired of being friends. He wants to move into, you know, my honey, my boo, my love type of situation. And I was like, okay, they not on the same page because her friends over there saying, build a friendship, Build the friendship. And then he over there talking about something. I'm trying to get romantic. I'm tired of being friends. <laughs> I was like, they not on the same page. Okay. Um, but we already know Ryan trying to get some of that. Okay. He been trying to get some of that since the beginning. Okay. And, you know, uh, Rachel and, and Bryce just over there just trying to take it slow and slow. Girl, I don't know what to tell y'all about them too. It's hard to read them. I like them together and I want them to work. It just seemed like um, they just be on two different pages at all times. 
over there at Gil and Mila's um apartment housewoman party okay Gil still over there want to bring up Gil talk too much <laughs> talk too much Gil learn to shut up learn what's personal and what not personal okay first of all talking about this girl spending habits in front of everybody is not your place okay he want to sit there and talk about how many clothes she got in the closet and how much money she spent like for what gil for what then you want to sit there and tell everybody how she ain't giving you no kisses for what gil for what but for me it's Miller because Miller just seemed unbothered about all of it okay sis said i'm not changing for nobody i don't care what y'all got going on okay i'm still gonna have my closet for the clothes if you got nine pair of jeans sis that's on you nobody told you only have nine pair of pants in seven days a week <laughs> and it's 30 31 days in a month okay sorry for you if that's the life that you choose <laughs> but um <clears throat> It's the fact that Gil just always bring it up. Like, Gil, can y'all just have a relaxing, you know, chill out moment? When Mila sits down with Gil's friend, he tries to bring up the finances again to her. And I'm like, I wish everyone would stop bringing up her finances. Her finances are fine. Stop bringing up this conversation with her, okay? She already told him, I'm not compromising on not having a house and then building a future for my kids, okay? If he don't want to, if he can't bring what he needs to bring to the table, then I'm not selling it for less and I don't feel bad about it. And I was like, talk your ish, sis. Talk your ish. Gil, if you broke, then just say that then, okay? Because she don't want to be married, living in an apartment and having kids. She has every right to not want that when her bank account can afford more it's not like she don't have nothing trying to get you to pay for it all so for you to sit there and keep bringing up this girl money like she ain't got the money what's the point like he's annoying me it's frustrating i'm tired of this finance situation with them because like gil you're not making sense sir you say you're not bothered but you coming off very bothered okay so now that Belle and Johnny are back in the house, y'all, they winding down and they, they pillow talking, okay? And they had a good time. And she wants to reassure him that they're in this together. And he's just so happy that she said that. I said, Belle, I said, Johnny sits there. Is, is, Johnny is so immature. He's so immature. He just wants her to cater to him so that he can feel like she likes him and then she, he may come around because he wants that clinginess. He wants that attention. So I feel like he does some of this stuff on purpose to make her gravitate and baby him more. I don't know. Johnny's rubbing me wrong too, y'all. <clears throat> He's rubbing me wrong. When Zach and Michaela are in the kitchen having this conversation, I'm not going to go word from word, but I'm going to just tell you how I feel about it, okay? Um, Zach don't really care what Michaela has to say. Michaela basically says that she knows that, you know, um, he is very caring, very patient, very, you know, loving and caring. And she took advantage of that. And he was like, what do you mean by took advantage of that? And she was like, um, I overreacted. And he was like, so how do you think that made me feel? She was like, I know that made you feel hurt. I know that made you feel the banding. And, you know, like, I, I apologize. I'm sorry because I did not intend for that to happen. Now, y'all, y'all gonna have to hear me out on this. Y'all gonna have to hear me out on this, okay? Because I know some of y'all are set in y'all ways, okay? Zach isn't really hearing her, okay? He's not trying to get what she's saying, okay? And I'm gonna just have to say this, y'all, speaking from an experience, okay? Because she's saying that, you know, she, she's never been in a relationship where she really you know thought about that other person's feelings and she really wants to change and she's so sorry and like how can she tell how can she fix this how can she fix this how can she fix this because she don't want to lose her husband and y'all I felt it I felt it and I'm gonna tell you why because I was once that girl okay I was once that overreacting girl I was once that one always want to pick fights I was toxic as AF okay toxic as F, okay? Because, like, I thought in my mind it was cute, okay? I thought that was, like, how you, you react as a woman when things don't go your way, okay? Um, and it wasn't until I almost lost my husband, um, boyfriend then, okay? But husband, that it woke me up to realize, like, you can't continue to behave like this because no one wants to put up with your BS. And I feel as though this is a marriage. If Zach gets out and run after this little old misunderstanding, this little old, you know, um, confrontation or argument and her having this one little blow up and he's already willing to throw in a towel at the one little blow up, then honey, you are not ready for marriage. 
Because as much as everyone will want to sit here and say, oh, she overreacted and he needs to run, there is nobody out here who has never overreacted in a relationship with their husband, their spouse, their partner, or anything like that and felt as though their husband, partner, spouse needed to run from them. And I'm talking about this episode. I'm not talking about the previews that of her, you know, wilding out because we don't know what happened here. I'm talking about as of right now. As of right now, yes, she needs counseling. Yes, she needs to deal with her trauma. But also, what he can't do is sit there and run over one incident, okay? She is apologizing. She's so sorry. She wants to fix it. He's not here for it whatsoever. He don't even want to stay in the apartment. And I'm just sitting here like, you don't, you don't seem like you want to fix this, bro. Now, if you don't feel like you want to fix this and you feel like you don't want to be with her, then just say that then. I'm so tired of this back and forth. He like, everything don't need to come to a resolve. Yes, it does. How are you going to have a relationship if it don't come to a resolve? And I'm very big on if we have a different agreement, if things are not going away, yeah, go take a second, breathe, relax, clear your mind. But you staying in this house with me and we're going to come to a resolve because we're married. Like Michaela said, Zach, we're married. And I fell for her, y'all. I fell for her because even though, even though she did overreact, even though she was very nasty to him a little bit, okay? At the end of the day, this is a marriage. And if you can't deal with that in two weeks of marriage, you won't be able to handle anything marriage is going to offer you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Sometimes it takes people a little bit longer to mature to be the person that they need to be for their spouse. They just met each other. She didn't know that that was going to take him over the top. He didn't know that she was going to act like that. So they need to sit back, reset, and start over because you're still learning each other. Give each other a fair chance. Y'all had all this chemistry. Y'all was so loving up on each other. Y'all was bang banging it and not stopping it, okay? So give each other a chance to get to know each other and grow. Grace. Give each other grace. Give each other patience. And y'all could make this work, but because you see it your way and you don't want to see it any other way, it's not going to help as a marriage. And I'm speaking from a marriage point of view, not by who's right, who's wrong, okay? She's trying to fix it. He don't want to hear it. But it's only been two weeks. The marriage is over, if you ask me, okay? And that's married at first sight. <clears throat> Y'all, I hope you enjoyed this review. Do not come attacking me like, he need to run, he need to run. We talking about this one episode, this one episode. Don't come for me, y'all, don't come for me. But I do love your opinions. You always help me see things different ways. Don't forget to like this um, video, subscribe, comment down below, all that good stuff. And I'm going to talk to you guys later. Peace.